If you take a look at the city of Seattle on a national basis, this is one really green town. Recently, Mayor Nichols put a challenge out to other mayors across the country to tackle the issue of global warming. Here at home, he asked residents to take part in Climate Action Now, a program that asked people to take personal responsibility for carbon emissions. In June 2008, Seattle was recognized by the U.S. Conference of Mayors as number one for innovation in conservation and programs to reduce global warming. Seattle City Light has been a major trendsetter in those efforts. With abundant water flowing off the snowpack of the Cascades, Seattle City Light has always had a very green, renewable power source to spin the turbines of its hydroelectric dams. And the utility's commitment to environmental stewardship continues to grow. In 1973, the utility experimented with its first kilowatt conservation program during the height of the oil crisis, and the idea simply spread from there. The utility decided at the time to really focus heavily on conservation as a preferred resource. And bear in mind, this was in the mid-70s that the utility did this. And the result has been uh, fantastic. Uh, over the last 30 years, City Light has avoided uh, something like 11 percent of our load that would otherwise have been required. And in addition to that, by virtue of focusing on conservation, we avoided something like 620,000 metric tons of uh, carbon emissions. CO2, or carbon dioxide, is a gas that directly contributes to climate change. The utility has also recently announced it has once again surpassed its conservation goals for the year. The savings in 2007 were equivalent to removing 10,000 cars from the congested streets of Seattle. Now, while that's admirable, it really just scratches the surface of how green this utility has become. Seattle City Light was the first utility in the U.S. to go greenhouse gas neutral, and we did that in 2005, and since then, in 2006 and in 2007. What it means is that for any of the greenhouse gases the utility emits from sources, like its fleet of trucks, it finds a way to offset that emission. A case in point is the fleet of cruise ships that visits Elliott Bay each summer to whisk passengers off to Alaska. These ships used to sit in port and burn diesel fuel to run electricity on the boat. Now they hook up to our power. So instead of burning um, diesel fuel, which is very dirty and produces local air pollution as well as uh, greenhouse gases, they now hook up to our clean power. And they're very pleased with it. They find that their passengers really like this experience. The utility is even inviting its customers to join in the carbon neutral effort by buying their power through the Green Up program. Customers pay a little more for their energy usage, but the money is invested in carbon neutral power projects. Bob Balzar is the director of conservation resources and explains Green Up this way. It provides a revenue stream uh, to that we plow back into the renewable markets. Uh, right now, most of that goes through to a state line wind project, uh, but we are using uh, solar demonstration. But it doesn't stop there. Seattle City Light is making sure the rivers it generates its power from are getting the benefit of environmental investments as well. Take the Skagit River, for instance, 25 years ago. We had our pink and chum runs that were declining. Um, we had uh, Chinook that were declining. Um, there was no plan of what to do. Um, nobody really understood well why the fish were declining. Now the Skagit is a different story. Dave Flug is a biologist with Seattle City Light. This is more or less the jewel of Puget, Puget Sound when it comes to salmon production. It has um, some of the largest runs of Chinook, some of the largest runs of, sh of chum salmon, pink salmon, uh, coho, steelhead. All of them have fisheries on them, uh, which is, is uh, very unique in the Northwest because we have harvestable numbers still. And the numbers seem to be growing. It's a wild and scenic river. It has one of the, well, certainly the largest and healthiest uh, wild uh, salmon runs in Washington state. Using dams to control river flows for salmon runs, conducting exhaustive studies on the river's ecology, and working with many different partners along the Skagit to restore fish habitat brought this river back, and with it, one of the biggest populations of bald eagles in the United States. But conservation has been the utility's longest standing environmental commitment. Decade after decade, Seattle City Light has been reaching out into the community to get businesses and homeowners to cut back on energy consumption. 
Businesses or commercial ratepayers make up about 70% of the conservation savings. Homeowners make up the other 30%. The utility even provides know-how to businesses looking to reduce their energy use and replace older lighting systems with energy efficient ones. They'll even provide consultants to help businesses go green. Seattle City Light gets ratepayers to buy in by putting their money behind products that will save them money, like low flow water fixtures or rebates on energy saving lights and an assortment of Energy Star appliances. According to Bob Balzar, the utility has high conservation numbers because it spends a lot per person to educate people. We're at a number of about $30 per citizen per year in conservation spending and that far and away is uh, ahead of virtually every other place in the country. One of Seattle City Light's more successful programs is Twist and Save. You may have seen this campaign at a recent Mariners game or at your local Costco where it's hard to miss the deal you can get on compact fluorescent lights. So much of our electricity consumption flows through uh, the large uh, big box retailers. The goal is to get more energy usage education and rebates into these big box stores where so many consumers are buying. And the utility would like to give homeowners even more opportunities to save. We're going to have more stuff for, re for residential customers. Seattle City Light anticipates giving away or subsidizing over a million compact fluorescent bulbs by the middle of 2008. If you stack up all of Seattle City Light's conservation efforts, it adds up to a lot of power. In fact, it equals 10% of the city's power needs for an entire year. And that is a lot of conservation. The utility has racked up a billion, with a B, a billion kilowatt hours in savings. Not only is it good for the environment, it translates to big energy savings for ratepayers. So that saves the customers of Seattle about $65 million this year. So when you hear Seattle City Light officials saying they care about the environment, you'll know it's a commitment that's actually been going on for decades and has not only been saving the planet, but saving ratepayers as well. We are 90% hydro-based. It is a renewable resource and we manage the resource in a very environmentally responsible way. And it provides a very inexpensive, attractive source of energy for our customers. I'm Kelly Gunther for Seattle City Lights.